Yo, what's up guys? Today we're gonna try to make Minecraft mobs in Spore. Alright, so the first mob that I want to create is the Wither. Just because I feel like it's such an iconic Minecraft mob, plus it looks badass. I really want to see a realistic version of it. Alright, so the body of the skeleton is supposed to be very bony. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna... Oh my god, that looks so cricket. Hold up, I need to fix that. Why does it look so cricket, man? Man, this body could be a politician. All right, there we go. It's a little bit less cricket now. And you know what? I think it's okay that it's a little bit cricket since it is supposed to be a skeleton. So it's fine. It's fine. Now, of course, the wither does have three heads. So let's see what parts we're going to use to achieve that. Let's see if we can use any of these skeleton parts. All right, I think I'm actually going to use this part right here. Just because I like the way that it paints. Actually, I think if I'm going to use that part, then I should probably use that for the middle head as well. Just so that all the heads look the same. Or at least have the same same kind of basic structure. Ooh. Oh, okay. I've been wanting to use these parts. I got these amazing parts that I cannot place on the skeleton parts. What? No, I want to use these things. Why can't I not place it up there? Wait, I can't. No, I can't. Wait a minute. What's going on? Oh, come on, man. Now, hold up. Would I be able to place it on these things? Okay, so they... Okay. All right, so apparently I can't use these heads on the skeleton limbs. So we're going to change our plan and actually, oh, actually use the normal limbs because they seem to work just fine. All right, there we go. I switched up the necks. So let's see, what is the best looking part? It's kind of hard to see when it's so dark. Oh, that one looks good. That one looks really good, actually. Hold up. I believe the witness is more like an alien type of a head, so I don't think we're going to be using that one, although it does look cool, but I don't think we're going to be using that one. All right, let's go for that head right there. Let's just place that on all of the limbs. There we go. Okay, now I do think the head are maybe a little bit too big. Okay, no, I think they're good. I think they're good. All right, now for the rib cage. Let's see here. I believe I want to use these parts right here. The spiral horn. There we go. Yeah, that looks like a rib cage. Okay. Although it's not really curved enough. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. That looks great. Fantastic. All right, how many rib cages does a person have? Now, I'm assuming that the wither has just as many rib cages as a human. I don't know the Minecraft lore behind the wither. Let's Google this real quick. All right. So here's a fun fact for you. Humans actually got 12 ribs on both sides. Wow, 12 ribs. How am I gonna fit 12 ribs? All right, we got this. I mean, I've only placed three and I've used like a third of the space. I think we're only gonna be able to fit like nine ribs then. Yeah, third of the three... Yeah, three times three is nine. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. I just remembered something. I have another mod installed. Now, I don't really want to make this too easy for me. Oh, but look at that. Yes, we actually got skulls right here. Although I do believe that the issue with those skulls. Yeah, okay. The, yeah, yeah. They don't paint. No matter what, they're going to stay as white. So maybe we can use those parts to make like a Minecraft skeleton. Because yeah, look at that. They got a rib cage. Wait a minute. It's black. Does it stay black? It does. Do I like that though? I mean, it looks realistic, I guess, but uh, I don't know. Does it look good? I don't know, man. It looks kind of boring. All right. Yeah, let's just get rid of... Oh my god. No, not that bug again. Oh, I'm getting so tired of that bug, man. If you're new to my channel, we got the weirdest bug in the existence of all video games. All of my creations are called Justin Timberlake. Let's just try to ignore it, man. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely preferring these parts over that realistic steak ribcage. But man, look at all these bones we got. All different types. What is this? Anulux intermediate phalanx? Median distal phalanx? Those sound like dirty words. Hand? Wait, what? That's not a hand. Why would you need this? What is this? A faceless head? Why would you need this? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Mouthless head? <gasps> we can make that, man! Oh my god, I'm getting so many ideas. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. All right, let's just continue with this rib cage right here. All right, how many ribs do we got right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to fit 12 on each side. I think this is already too many. All right, there we go. I could fit eight. Eight is fine. Now, I hope there are no doctors watching this because this is definitely not anatomically correct. And I'm pretty sure I didn't even say anatomically correct. If I did, then I will be very impressed with myself because that's a big word. All right, as of right now, this creature looks insanely boring. So let's see if we can try to make it look a little bit more exciting or at least a little bit more scary. Let's see here. Let's try to get some white eyes. There we go. And also, I think it's just a little bit too dark. Can't really see these. Uh, 
shadows and the highlights if it's so dark. All right, there we go. That's a little bit better. All right, there we go. We got all the eyeballs in. Now, I don't want the left head and the right head to be completely symmetrical. So let's try to make some expressions on all of the faces. Now, starting with the middle one. Let's see. Is this the correct color? No, way too dark. Way too dark. Okay. Let's see here. This color? Yeah, okay. Perfect fit. Fantastic. All right, so the middle one. I want him to be the angriest. So something like that. Let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a huge improvement. Just look at the heads on the left and right compared to the one in the middle. Man. Yes, baby. There we go. All right, moving on to the other two heads. I already placed the parts needed to make the expressions. Now, holding in the A button will actually allow me to change all these parts without changing the other one on the other side. So, for example, if I would now take this part and move it around, you can see that the part is no longer copied on the other side. So, that's going to be really useful just to make things a little bit more interesting. Kind of want to make one sad face. Oh, no. <laughs> it just looks really stoned. No. No, no, no. It's here. I think if I remove the ones on the bottom, just like that. There we go. Oh, that looks worse. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. He looks so happy. That is uh, not what I was going for. Man, how am I going to make this look good? <laughs> Man, and it is impossible to make a sad face look good. Especially because the mouth is like really smiling. It's not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. So let's do another trick to make it a little bit more interesting. We can make the whole neck asymmetrical. So now we should be able just to rotate the heads just a little bit. Just enough to make them not look the same. Okay, there we go. So all of the heads look slightly different. Now I'm wondering, should we add pupils to the wither? If I make some really, really tiny tiny pupils. Okay, those pupils are just way too dark. All right, maybe not such dark pupils. Let's see if some light gray pupils will look good. Mmm. I'm not so sure about that. Nah, okay. No, let's just skip the pupils. I, it wasn't a good idea. All right, now for some details on the back. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, I definitely want to add one of those parts on the bottom right there. That looks fantastic. Okay, you know what? I think we're like pretty much finished. Just have a few more things that I want to do. All right, so there's a few more things that I want to test out. Again, just to try to make it look a little bit more interesting. I don't know. I just feel like it can be a lot better than it is right now. All right, I kind of want to see if I can make the mouths a little bit more interesting by adding teeth. Of course, everything needs teeth. Oh, you know what? I think I've already decided on... Yes! That's a good idea! Oh, scary teeth. Okay, something like that. And then for the front teeth, we could just use these parts right here. Okay, let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah, that's a major improvement. There we go. And I believe... Now we should be able to control the expressions a little bit more just by shifting the teeth a little bit. So now that it looks like the actual mouth has been shifted. So there we go. Like I said, the middle one is supposed to be the angriest and then the right one could be sort of happy oh man these skulls on the sides are gonna be a pain because i have to do it on both sides i don't like that i don't like doing extra work man i can't wait until i actually encounter these guys in game hold up can i get a little bit closer there we go okay now this should be a little bit simpler man i just realized it's going to be really hard to make this symmetrical since i don't have the help of the game making this symmetrical. Man, it's gonna look like a self-portrait. Okay, something like that. Now, I wonder, can I just reuse these parts? Nah, let's not do that. Nah, let's actually put in the work and meticulously place every single tooth. Uh, uh. Okay, how does that look? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it. All right. Now, that doesn't look bad. It looks fine. I don't know. I think it looks fine. Now, for the sad boy. Hello, sad boy. Why so sad, boy? Oh, man. Those teeth look so janky. All right. There we go. That should be all of the teeth. All right. There we go. You know what? I don't hate that. I don't hate it. I don't really love it either, but I don't hate it. All right. Now, for the final touches. We definitely want their eyes to glow, I think. Oh, wow. That's a really bright light. Do we want them to glow that much? I mean, that's a lot. You know what? Yeah, I like it. And it kind of has this purplish hue to it, which is perfect. Let's just make it really, really small and then copy it to all the other eyes too. All right, there we go. Okay, that looks fantastic. Now, just a few more things. Nuclear fallout. How does that look? Ooh. Hmm. Oh, no. Okay, hold up. Never mind. I didn't like that at all. Yellow mist. Nope. Too bright. Bond birds. Uh, no. All right, now for the abilities. So we could add spit level five. That would be fine. It would kind of fit the wither. Although, I definitely want to go for one of these instead. We got the fire charger. We got a tornado strike. We got love bomb. We can even summon 
The sea monster. Crazy, man. Electron sphere. All right, that sounds interesting. I have no idea how that looks like. I want to test that out. So let's just hide that somewhere on the body. And then we should be able to use that ability. Fantastic. All right, cool. Now, another ability that I want to add is glide level 5 and jump level 5. Since the wither is supposed to be a flying mob, let's add those to the body as well. And now the final thing that I want to do is to add some invisible limbs so that this baby can be flying continuously. All right, let's see how that looks. All right, I do not like how he animates. Let's see if we can fix that. Let's see, I think if we add more limbs and make the leg a little bit longer, I just noticed that the limb is very inappropriately placed. Let me fix that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, let's place it like that instead. So I believe the more limbs we add, the more fluid the animation will be. Let's test out that theory. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, the other heads, they kind of jump down when he walks. I don't like that at all. How can we fix that? Oh, now it's just worse. Oh, I made it worse. Oh, I made it so much worse. Ah, come on, man. Why? Stupid, stupid. Right, what about that? Why does it animate like that? No. Oh, my hopes and dreams have been ruined. Hmm, I believe if I add an invisible fist right there inside of the head, I believe that should fix the issue. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Oh, come on. What if we do something like that? <gasps> I fixed it. Oh, I am a genius. Okay, let's just get rid of this leg. All right, so look at this. I'm a smart guy. I added the invisible leg to the actual limb that has the head on it. And just see the difference between the two heads. All right, look at this. Huh? Huh? One is incredibly stable and the other is not. Now, if we add that to the other side as well, get rid of that. how will that look? There we go. It looks way better. Fantastic. All right, cool. And I believe that should be it yeah all right so we got our wither i can't rename him just yet so let's just save him for now then i can just leave the editor and open him up again and there we go now we can rename him the wither fantastic all right cool All right, so here we have the Wither. I actually think it came out pretty good. I mean, it looks pretty similar to the Minecraft version. I like it. I like it. All right, so on to the next mob. All right, so the next mob that we shall be creating is the skeleton. Just because I just found the perfect part. I gotta test them out, man. Ooh, what is this? Etsy head? Oh, this isn't even the part that I was going to use. But hey, it looks fantastic. Let's see here. Which model is the better model? We got two skulls right here. Now, are they the same model? I believe these might be the exact same model. Okay, good to know. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, we're done. Fantastic. Look at that. I'm finished. I made, I made the skeleton. Good. Now, now, video over. Thank you. Goodbye. Now, okay, let's uh, let's actually use the individual part so that he actually animates. And that kind of looks like a spine, I think. There we go. And let's make it white. All right. Now, we could use this guy right here as a little reference. Yeah, so let's add him right there. And then we can sort of just move him to the side so that we just have him as a reference over there. There we go. Oh, it disappeared. Um, okay, new plan, new plan. Let's add a little limb right here. That will hold up our little reference. Now, I can already see that the spine is completely different. So let's fix the spine first. Something like that. There we go. Now, all we gotta do is pretty much just copy that skeleton on the side. Oh, I can already tell that the skeleton is a little bit too long. Okay, copying the skeleton is actually way harder than I thought it was going to be. Like, a lot harder, man. Who would have thought that the human body is actually quite complicated and has a lot of parts? Would have never have guessed. Uh, okay. Okay, I think I got these shoulder blades in the correct spot. I have no idea what these bones are. The sternum? Humerus? Co a collar I know. Femur? What? <laughs> what are these things? <gasps> Oh, no, there's more of the bones. Oh, this was such a mistake. I've already started, so I can't give up now. All right, so we need to use the invisible bones so that we can actually make the skeleton. All right, there we go. So I set up all the invisible limbs. Now, we won't actually be able to see them in game. We are just able to see them here in the editor. All right, so there we go. All right, let's see here. Femur, I googled it. Femur is the bone that goes right here. And it should pop right into that socket right there. All right, and then the lower portion of the leg, we got the tibia and the fibula. 
<laughs> I don't know why those names make me laugh, but they do. All right, and we need to be sure to place it on the leg, just like that. Now, I believe if I place them on... Oh, no, look at that. Oh, one of the legs doesn't animate correctly. Hold up, let me fix that. I believe if I place it right there, move it up and fix it a little bit, just like that. All right, let's see how that looks. Yes, there we go. All right, so the bones look like they are animating correctly. Now, let's add that fibula to the lower leg. Then we have the foot. All right, now the reason why I'm not just using the model behind us is because it doesn't animate. That's why I'm actually going through the trouble and remaking it. But look at that. He actually animates with his legs now. Fantastic. Now we just need to do the arms. And then we need to do a bow. All right, let's see here. All right, then we have the humerus right here. Oh, right. Okay, so the sternum is this thing right here in the middle. Oh, you know what? It sort of looks like a tie. All right, there we go. Now, we could add the actual spine, but I have a slight suspicion that it's never going to animate correctly since we have to place it on the bottom of the body. And then it goes all the way to the top of the body. And... All right, but we could test it out. Let's see if it actually works. Let's see here. You know what? Yeah, okay. It actually still works. It doesn't really animate that poorly. Which I don't really understand. Oh, wait a minute. I believe if I actually make this right here a mouth, then it's definitely not going to get... Wait, it does animate well. Okay, well, never mind then. All right, there we go. I believe I have placed all of the bones. Let's see how that looks like. Yeah, there we go. All right, fantastic. Now we should be able to get rid of the reference. Let me just take one final look to see if we have gotten all the bones. I believe so. All right, fantastic. Now, we got our little skeleton, man. I do want to fix him a little bit. Make him a little bit more unique. Because he doesn't really need to be 100% realistic, I think. But let's make the head just a little bit bigger. All right, so of course we need to make a bow for the skeleton as well. I think that should be pretty simple to do. I think I'm actually going to be using these parts right here. If we can repaint them to brown, that is. Oh, no. It's like white in the middle. I'm not sure if I like that. Okay, so here's what we could do instead. We got these limbs right here. And these are supposed to be like these wooden limbs. Alright, so by placing another invisible limb right there, we can just connect the wooden limb right to it, and then position the limb into the hand. And there we go. Hopefully, this works fine. And then we just start shaping the... Oh, it looks... It doesn't look good. Um, okay, hold up. Uh, let's get rid of that if we do some like that and then like that no i don't know it's a little bit better now and then we just copy that and rotate it all right i do want the bow to be very large because i think large bows look very cool all right there we go we got the bow fantastic we can add this part right here as the little string all right cool fantastic now one thing that is actually not on the minecraft skeleton that i definitely think should be a part of our skeleton is a little it's called a quiver i don't know what it's called like like the little backpack for archers that holds all of their arrows. So let's add one of those. All right, maybe we got some staffs that kind of resemble arrows that I can just use because I'm lazy like that. There we go. Okay, this single spear. I could use that. And then we could add one of those advanced coloration feathers with the color of perhaps maybe like a yellow-orange color. I think that could look good. And then we just sort of place it inside of that little spear. And boom, we got ourselves an arrow. All right, there we go. We got the little quiver bag, whatever it's called. I don't think it's called quiver. What is it called? I think quiver is like a pen. <laughs> Am I saying quiver? Uh, no, that's quill. Ah, oh my god, all these words. Alright, so that doesn't look half bad. Now, of course, the legs and arms do look quite odd with those invisible limbs, but once we get into the game, the limbs will actually not be visible, so don't worry about that. Now, the last thing I want to do is, of course, give the skeleton some expression. Let's put some black into his eyes, and then we can start sculpting his eyebrows a little bit. Oh, there we go. That's it. That just tied everything together. Oh, man, I can't wait until I actually meet them in game. Oh, I love it. I love it, man. All right, now, what kind of abilities should we give this guy, huh? I don't think there are any arrow abilities. But man, that would have been perfect. All right, so we're just going to be adding spit level 5 because I think that's as close as we're going to get. So there we go. All right, cool. All right, so there we have our little skeleton boy. Now, this isn't the final look because like I've been saying the entire time, the invisible limbs, man, they're, they're messing everything up. Now, since we already have the skeleton ready... 
There is one other mob that I want to create, and I don't think it's going to need a lot of effort. Now, I purposely used parts that I could actually recolor, so now we should be able to make the wither skeleton. All right, so all the wither skeleton now needs... Ooh, look at this thingy. I was going to say that the wither skeleton needs a sword, and I really want to use this sword, but the handle looks all weird. So let's see if there is a more fitting sword available. I mean, we got this sword right here. We could use that. Now, let's just remove it from one one side. All right, cool. So I think he's already ready. Already ready, 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 already ready, ready. All right, and just like that, we got our third mob for the day. Man, <laughs> this one turned out to be very simple. All I had to do was just change the skeleton just a tiny bit. All right, so let's go and take a look at all of the mobs that we have created here today. Oh, man, this is exciting. Let's see, let's just go and create an adventure real quick and load in our mobs. All right, so we got the wither. We got the wither skeleton. Oh, man, <laughs> they look so sick. And then finally, we got the skeleton. Also, I might as well show off another mob that I have created. The creeper. If you would like to see me create the creeper, then the link will be in the description down below. But let's just select the creeper as a captain, just so that we can go and check out these mobs. Alright, let's take a look at that real quick. Oh, man. Look at the wither skeleton. Ah! It looks super spooky, man. Super spooky! Alright, for some reason, the other mobs are just white. I believe that's because I just have way too many parts on them. But there we go. There we have the skeleton. Look. Oh, no. It's back to white. Okay, hold up. Let's just take a look at one mob at a time because I believe they just have way too many parts on them. So there we go. We got the skeleton right here. Looking really cool, man. I really like how the skeleton turned out. Let's see how powerful the skeleton is. Oh, wait a minute. I just remembered that it's an epic, so I should probably not attack him. Nice Mr. Skeleton. All right, let's take a look at him if he's an actual normal size. Oh, man. You know what? I really like that skeleton, and I can't wait to actually encounter that skeleton in game, man. That's going to be a cool day. All right, so next up, we got the wither. Oh, let's see. Can we add two of them? Let's add two of them. Oh, nope, then it starts messing up. All right, let's just add one. Ah, man. Why is it white? Oh, there. No, wait. How do I fix that? There we go. Okay, now it's no longer white. There we go. There we have the wither looking all spook. Oh, it's back to white. Okay, that is really annoying. All right, you know what? Fine. I'll just showcase it right here. So yeah, here we have the wither that we created before. Looking all spooky like. Well, except for the head on the left. We don't talk about him. And then finally, we got the wither skeleton. Oh, man. Really, I can't wait to encounter all these creatures in game. That's going to be sick, man. All right, so that is going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did. Also, what do you guys think of the mob? I think they turned out pretty cool. Now, there are, of course, a lot more mobs in Minecraft, so if you would like to see another one of these videos where I try to create some more mobs in Minecraft, then make sure to leave some suggestions in the comment section down below. What mobs should I create next? Alright, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you did, and I will see all of you beautiful people in the next video. Have a good one, guys.